So whenever you see an option, it is very much important for you to analyze and understand the option Greeks and how they are placed. So by this, I don't mean that you need to go ahead and minutely observe what a uh, Greek is placed how, but at least you should have some context of reference about which Greek is going to affect your payoff and by how much. So uh, let's understand option Greeks, but why we need to understand the basic of Greeks is because let's say you're expecting the market to go somewhere. Let's say if you are market expecting the market to go from 18,000 to 18,200. Now the strategy that you will pick up, okay, there would be over 2 million combinations and permutations. Each and every strategy will have some different payoff, right? So the strategy that you are picking up, it will play a major role in how much money are you earning and how much money are you giving back to the market. There would be few strategies wherein at 18,200, you may end up making a loss there would be few strategies which will give you a very significant profit if 18200 is achieved so what i what we conclude from this is that option premiums are sensitive to a lot of other variables rather than just the underlying price so everybody is trying to win the game of predicting where the market is going to go but instead of that we should also focus on the strategy that we are picking up because most of the cases in most of the cases the strategy that we are picking up if that goes right, we will generate a huge return from the market. So first for that, we need to understand option Greeks. So if I just navigate to option chain in concept, you can access the tool uh, from the description box below. So you'll get to see there are four major components, Vega, Gamma, Theta and Delta. So let's understand one by one and let's try to understand how can we tackle uh, all of these components. So let's first understand Delta. So for that, I'll navigate you through the option calculator tool in the application. So Nifty, the futures price would be fetched automatically. You don't need to do anything about it, but still, if you want to change it, you can do it. Expiry, you can select it. Strike price, it is self-explanatory. Then evaluation day, for what day you want to calculate the option premium for. So I'm saying I want to calculate the option premium for 8th of May, which is for today itself. Now the calculator is asking me what is the type of volatility you want to charge for this particular calculation. So I'm saying the volatility uh, input is 10 percentage. Okay. And just hit calculate button. Now you will get to see the call premium and put premium. So now let's understand Delta. So what is Delta? Delta is nothing but how much your option premium will be impacted, how much your option premium will be affected because of one point move in the underlying. So now Nifty is at 18,283. From there, if Nifty moves to 18,284, how much our option premium will move will be shown to us by Delta. So in this case, it is 0.46. So if I just move the underlying, which is Nifty by 10 points, so the premium should go up by 4 rupees, correct? So I just 4.6 rupees to be precise. So I just hit calculate. Now you see the changes. It is 62.9. Now, if I again give inputs that if the market goes up by 10 rupees, then this premium should go up by 4.8 rupees, right? The call premium. So let's say 18,000. So it should be roughly around uh, 67, 68 rupees. Around 68 rupees, right? So I am saying what will be the premium if the market goes to 18,303, which is three, uh, which is uh, 10 points positive from the current level. And just calculate, see, this 67.88. So what we conclude is Delta is nothing but it is the impact of underlying on the option premium. How much your option premium is sensitive to the underlying is shown to you by Delta. Now, uh, coming to the put side, so the put Delta will be negative because obviously whenever the market uh, goes down, the put premium intrinsic value should go up, right? So that is the reason the Delta of put option is negative. And obviously the put option is uh, negatively related with the underlying price. That is the reason it is negative. And obviously, when uh, the more market goes up, the put premium will keep on going down by the delta factor over here. So now, how, how can we make use of this information? So if I just take you back to the option chain tool. So looking at this, what you can do is, so let me just select Nifty so that it becomes more relatable. He traders Quantsap has simplified option trading analytics for you. Click the link in the description box below, complete your sign up process and access the most advanced option analytical tools in the entire industry. Thank you. So whenever we are doing this, so we can 
follow a simple step which is we should ask whenever we are taking a trade we should ask that what is the conviction behind that trade is the conviction very high or very low so if the conviction is high right so what we what we can do we can stick around today at the money strike price so that even if the even if we are wrong we don't end up losing a big chunk but if the conviction is slightly lower we can prefer slightly out of the money which is one or two strikes maximum out of the money call or put option the reason is if i am selecting a smaller delta strike and if the market goes against me in that scenario so i will not be paying a very big chunk to delta so now coming to the other greek which is theta so theta is the time component how much your option premium will decay because of one day if you hold that option premium for one day how much the premium is going to get decayed is shown to us by theta it is very simple if you hold this option for tomorrow 11 rupees from the call side 11 rupees from the put side would be decayed because of time it is nothing but how much time is going to pull out its option premium or how much time is going to pull out its value from the option premium now just see 67 and 64 so it should be 56 and uh, 53 if i hold this till tomorrow which is 9th of may rest everything being same so see roughly more or less it is somewhere around that the level that we just assumed correct again if 13 and 13 then again 13 rupees from year and 13 rupees from year roughly the premium will be decayed okay so now this is something which will happen rest other things in the market it may change or they may change or they may not change meaning maybe new price of nifty remains exactly where it is right now maybe a very slight chance of that but maybe that that is a very possible scenario then iv in the market may move or may not move but theta the time is going to pass away right and the theta is going to do its job and it is going to decay the premium so what we conclude that whenever we are buying options be careful about theta whenever we we are very close to the expiry we should typically try to convert our naked uh, bot options into spreads so what i mean by this is that another characteristics of theta is that more closer you head towards expiry the higher theta will decay the theta will start decaying at a faster pace if you just see 18300 it's 11.7 if you see uh, the next expiry it would be lesser than that it's 6.6 and if you just look at 25th may expiry it's 4 so what we conclude is the more more i go far away from the expiry the the theta decay is very slow so even a naked bot option i can hold it comfortably it will not create a big problem for me but if i am very close to the expiry i need to act on that and what would be my actionable i can convert my single legged options into spreads now coming to the third gree which is vega so vega is nothing but uh, the volatility factor how much volatility will affect my option premium is shown to us by vega here vega is not implied volatility vega is showing us the impact of implied volatility on our option premium so if you see the vega over here is 6.6 so here as well it is 6.6 so what it is trying to say that if the volatility which is at 10 percentage if it goes up by 1 percentage the call premium will go up by 6.6 rupees and the put premium will also go up by 6.6 rupees so let's try this so see calculate 71 74.5 right if it goes up by 1 percentage more than what would be the impact see it goes so basically vega is nothing it is trying to show you how much your premium will be impacted because of 1 percentage move in the implied volatility if implied volatility goes down call option goes down put option goes down if implied volatility goes up call and put option both premiums go up okay so what is the type of strategy that uh, you can create uh, based on implied volatility so one of the simplest strategy is that whenever there is some uh, event lined up ahead in the market it would be any stocks results it could be any corporate announcements it could be a union budget credit policy announcement rbi policy fed announcement anything anything which can have a impact in the market whenever that event is lined up ahead so prior that event generally you will see that the ivs of uh, that specific index or that specific stock will start to spike up so in that case you can take the benefit of vega you can start creating strategies such as long straddles 
long strangles and also you can prefer naked buying before any major event because you know that IV will go up. Because of Vega being positive for a naked option, the call and put premium will both go up. Okay. So simple before any major event is where you can benefit from long Vega strategies. And after the result from something like uh, iron condor, iron fly, you can benefit from the strategies which will have a negative Vega, wherein you will get money because of the IVs in the market going down. And the last one is gamma. Rho, I will say that it may not, you will not be able to see a very clear impact of Rho because uh, it is, it is trying to show us the change in option premium because of change in interest rate. So the interest rate may not change very that frequently. So Rho is trying to show us the impact of change in interest rate on the option premium. And the last one is Gamma. So Gamma is a, uh, the speed, it is basically the second order Greek. It is the speed at which the delta moves. So it is trying to show us how fast your delta will move and it is the second order derivative. So let's say this is trying to show you delta. Okay, so let's say this is delta. Now what is gamma? Gamma will try to show you how fast this will move and this is how typically it will move. Okay. And the moment it shows a breakout, then the chances of delta moving very fast, okay? It will not tell you direction, but the delta, the, the chance of delta moving very fast increases. And eventually what it will uh, lead to is our premium will move very, very fast. So that is gamma. So it is very small figure, but the more closer we get to expiry. So if I just take you very close to expiry, which is 10, the gamma will increase. Closer you get to expiry, the gamma keeps on increasing. So for that, uh, someone can uh, try to go, uh, uh, try to observe such strategies such as long calls or long puts, because that is where the gamma will benefit you. Specifically on the expiry rate, you would have seen a very small premium goes double, triple, right? From 10 rupees, the premium goes to 50, 100. So that happens because of gamma, because gamma wakes it. It moves the delta very, very fast, which in return moves the premium very, very fast. And uh, yes, folks, that was it from this video. So do check out option chain tool and option calculator and, uh, you know, master the option Greeks and build yourself the best option strategy according to the Greeks.